channel. Uh, today I want to do a little bit of a review on this e-bike that I got. We've already ridden 344 kilometers on this guy and so I figure I'm ready to give a review of this bike and uh, riding e-bikes in general as uh, an older person getting back into riding. Okay, you can see we have some nice disc brakes there on 26 inch wheels. Suntour NEX E25 shocks. Tektro mechanical disc brakes. Very simple display here. With a few parameters, odometer, trip, max speed. <laughs> And you have your assist level modes. And I've put a, made a place here to put my Garmin. I love the Altus uh, rear derailleur controller. And back here, Altus, yes. <laughs> Proudly Canadian, right? Quest.ca. And lastly, we have a, a tail light that turns on with the headlight right from the main battery and a nice rack to put your luggage on. So there you have the battery with a key to take it out. And there's a, you hit that button there and you'll see the blue light. It says red, green, blue. So blue is all the way full and green would be 50%. Okay, so there you go. This is the throttle for running the throttle. Oops. <laughs> and this is the bill. Love it. Trying to get close enough so you can hear it. Okay. And lots of cars coming by. But anyway, I just wanted to add for the, oh, the handles, the wide grips for your palms is great. Uh, never realized <laughs> how much I needed that till I had it. Anyway, I just wanted to add uh, riding the e-bike. It's got me back on my bike. I haven't ridden, I have ridden in the last years, but you know, one trip and then your hands are going numb and your neck, you know, everything is just not that comfortable. And this bike is fairly comfortable for me. I can ride, as you've seen how many kilometers I put on it, uh, how many kilometers I've literally actually gone just in the winter and we don't even have nice weather yet. Um, so this is the thing, if you get yourself into an e-bike, you might find yourself out there riding every day, every other day, getting uh, way more exercise than you would otherwise. And, um, and it's so much fun. And you know that you're building some uh, fitness at the same time. So it has just got me out there, riding, getting exercise. getting busy on there and we have our thing here we always have to connect our heart rate monitor connect boom ride quest now we can watch our heart rate zones speed time of the day and just add uh, some stats to our ride so driveway has gotten a little bit soft here I don't know if you can hear the motor. The motor is so quiet. Anyway, it's been really fun riding this bike. Um, you know, something to do before the motorcycle season starts. And um, don't have to wait for May or and near the end of April before we'll be able to ride. Now I've already been riding for a month and a half. So I'm pretty, pretty psyched to go back. Not really motorcycle riding <laughs> kind of stuff. Hardly even bicycle riding stuff. But it's fun nevertheless. Path might be okay. I'm going to turn it up a couple steps here to three. There we go. 
can hear the motor more there. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you'll like and subscribe if you've liked the video and has helped you make any decisions for yourself. And um, please like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Come back when we have another video for you. And stay tuned for the next video because as you will see soon, I got so into biking on this bike that I went and got myself a mountain bike and I want to do some uh, trail riding and stuff on that. So keep tuned for that. Peace.